Cyclocross is one of those disciplines that anyone who's tried it absolutely raves about it. And in this video, I'm going to list a few basic skills that will help you get started. But of course, woohoo! I am no cyclocross expert, and for that, I've enlisted the help of multidisciplinarian, elite, badass cyclocross rider Amy Perryman to talk us through it. Let's go Let's catch her up. Amy! Amy, thank you so much for joining no us. You ride for Tekkers, CC, getting involved in lots of different disciplines within cycling, but we're talking cyclocross here and you're yep. pretty good at it. So what got <laughs> you into it in the first place? Uh, so I used to ride track as a kid uh, and I got a little bit bored of going in circles. So I decided actually off-road looks good fun, bit of mud, you get to roll around a muddy field, so why not? So for anyone that is making the jump over perhaps from the road to giving cyclocross a go, what is like the number one thing you've got to get used to? So cyclocross, it has a lot of mud. Like, I mean, not, not right now, it's a beautiful day, but um, there's a lot of mud in cross and you've got, to be able to, you've got to be able to ride the mud and you've got to be able to ride it fast. Um, so key things like we get taught as kids that green is good, brown is bad. If you see a green line of grass, you want to follow the green line of grass. It's so much more grip. Uh, and then the mud line is always slippy. And I mean, unless you're soft, soft pedaling and you're learning to like pedal gently around the corners, then it's, if you can avoid the mud, it's probably best. And what about crashing? Because obviously like, I'm fearful of crashing <laughs> on the road. It's never going to end well, but it's a bit different when you're in the grass. Yeah, so with, if, if you're crashing, it's sometimes actually quite a good thing because it means you're testing the limits of your tyres. And if you've got the confidence in, your, in the bike and in the tyres, actually crashing isn't, isn't all that bad. And I mean, it won't hurt as much as on the road, hopefully. <laughs> so there's kind of more, there's limits there in cyclists and you can, you can push them a bit further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You test the limits and you can learn how the bike starts to feel underneath you. And then when you, when you slide out, you slide out and usually you're just landing on the grass. So it's not too bad. Nice one. Well, next up, let's talk bike setup. And I think we should ride a bit of this course first on the way there. Yeah, let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> Right then, let's talk bikes now, Amy, because I'm going to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about how to set up a cyclocross yeah. bike. I've, I've come in with my gravel bike. I know you need 33 mil tires. You can't go any mm -hmm. wider than that. That's the rules of cyclocross. Yeah, so for, for your like national rounds, you, you want to have 33 mil tires, but there's also so many different types of tires you can get. You can get dries, intermediates, you can get muds. I mean, for your first cross race, I would go for muds. You've got some nice, nice mud, chunky tires on there right now, which gives you the most grip possible. So actually you've gone for a pretty good choice there. And what about pressure? Because you were saying I've gone a bit too hard. <laughs> yeah, so Connor turned up on 50 PSI, which was not ideal for a cross race. You probably want to be down at like 25 PSI, depending on the conditions. I mean, test it before your race and see what, it, what you can go to. But depending on if you're on tubeless, tubs or, or um, tubes, you can vary the pressure. Um, obviously you don't want to go too low and burp your tire. But actually you probably 20 PSI is about right for you. Pretty right, okay. And bottle cages, like I, I'm, I take water because I'm like a camel. <laughs> so it's an hour race. Uh, so you, realistically, you don't need to be drinking water in the race. And actually you need the space in between your frame here to carry your bike on your shoulder if, if the course requires you to. So probably can get rid of the bottle cages and it will make your bike a bit a little bit lighter. Make it a bit easier to carry. We're going to get into how to carry your bike a bit yeah. later on because apparently I was doing it totally wrong in the car park. It was not pretty. Earlier. But does it matter that I've, I've rocked up on my gravel bike? Do you need a cyclocross bike? Not really. Anyone can turn up to it and anyone can turn up to a cross race whether that's on gravel. You can even turn up on a mountain bike at local rounds but as long as you're out there and enjoying it it doesn't really matter what bike you're on. Whatever's comfortable. Nice one. Well, I've been enjoying whipping round, so I do need some help on the old carry <laughs> though. So let's get into we'll that. We'll get into that okay, one, yeah. Okay, sweet. Thanks, Amy. <laughs> Amy, running with your bike really key part of cyclocross, getting over obstacles, jumping over stuff. Oh, I'm not used to it at all. So talk us through the steps. I think let's break it down into three. Mm -hmm. You have getting off the bike, yep. carrying your bike, and getting back on. Starting with getting off your bike. Best approach. Okay, so there's there's a few there's a few steps to getting off your bike. We we have three different dismounts, but we'll we'll stick to the one for now. Uh, a simple step back. So as you would usually just get off your bike, you're you're sat on your bike, 
ready to unclip. Literally unclip, swing your back leg round, and you're off. Okay. Doing it at a faster pace, obviously a little bit more tricky, but um, as, as you practice it more, the easier it gets. And actually, we have another dismount called the step through and a, a step through to carry, but they're obviously slightly more technical dismounts in the, in the whole field of it, but yeah. Okay, and then how do you carry your bike? So, you're off your bike, and <laughs> earlier you went for the classic under there well, yeah, like, and hook under. Like I'm taking care of my surfboard. Yeah, it's not, it's not, not the way thing. to do it, man. Okay. <laughs> it's not the way. So uh, as a cross rider, you want to have your hand as far back as you can. Okay. And usually I go for the under or you can go over and swing it, swing it onto your shoulder. And the elbow goes through. Elbow goes through. Ooh. So under, swing, straight on your shoulder. And then this arm, instead of running free, running loose, you want to swing it under here grab your bars and you're kind oh, of locked okay. in you're locked in tight then there's no like swaying around you can you've got full control of your bike um yeah so and exact reverse to put the bike down gently Elbow comes back out make sure you do it gently because we can't be having a your chain bouncing off if you're throwing your bike back on the floor and then getting going back on riding again getting going on. back on it, it's hard, hard to master, as we saw you doing the double bounce earlier. That was entertaining, but we want to keep it, keep it simple. A nice little gentle walk through, slide onto the saddle and clip straight in. Nice. Smooth. Like, like I said before, a bit tricky to do at faster speeds, but once you get the hang of it and practicing through, you'll be fine. Practice makes perfect. Nice one. Thanks, Amy. Love it. Right, let's get on some cornering now. Let's do Not it. Not my strong point. <laughs> <laughs> right then, cornering Amy, cyclocross course is always pretty tight, mm -hmm. lots of bends, lots of things to navigate around. What are your top tips for tackling a corner such as this one? So cornering completely varies depending on whether it's muddy, the race situation you're in. The line choice is, yeah, completely different every single time. But generally, you want to take a, a, a fairly green line around the corners. So if the, if the course is muddy, it's going to be slippy. So remember, green is good, brown is bad. So you want to go all the way around the outside here on this green line and then cut across onto that next patch of green over there. I mean, if you're in a racing situation, you might want to cut up the inside. Or if you're taking it chill round on your own, go around the brown line and risk slipping. But it's completely... Uh, varies on your race. But more grip on the green. And what about like pedaling? Mm -hmm. Do you pedal your way through or should you yeah. drop, jam the outside leg in? What's the score? So ideally you're going to stay pedaling the whole way and you want to keep the momentum going. Like as I've always said, keep moving forward in a cross race. So you want to keep pedaling the whole way around and this corner is pretty good because it's fairly flat so you can actually pedal the whole way. And you, but less square pedaling, you want to keep it really smooth and like gentle on the pedal. And then as you get to the exit, you can really whack it. Nice one. And on that exit, when you do try and accelerate, should you stay in the saddle or should you get out of the saddle to accelerate? Or Out the saddle. Out you the want saddle to attack and... every single corner really? as if it's the first. Full gas. Yeah, full nice gas one. always. Right then, start of a cyclocross race. It's pretty crazy, pretty frenetic. Everyone's packed in mm -hmm. together. Big sprints off the line. What are your yeah. tips for getting going in the best shape possible? So start of a cross race, it's the most key part of the race. You want to have a great start. You want to be at the front. So little things matter in a cross race. You want to be in the right gear. It's key. You, you, you're in the easiest gear there. You're going to get nowhere with that. You want to work out which gear, depending on the start line. So this one's slightly inclined. So maybe a slightly easier gear than usual. Uh, so you can just absolutely whack it when the gun goes. Okay. So that's number one. Number two is your pedal position. When the pedal comes back round, or after the first stroke, you want to be able to clip in straight away. So having that pedal position flat at the back is okay. really useful. A, a, small, a small tip, but it might make a difference. And then third thing, which foot do you start with? I like to start with my slightly weaker foot, it clipped in, because when that one's clipped in, that's your first pedal stroke, and then your strong foot comes in, 
as your first oh, okay. powerful cool, pedal stroke. That's not something I'm used to because I'd normally go the opposite way. Yeah, so, so most people start with their most powerful leg clipped in, but actually I find the first, first pedal stroke is only half a stroke. Whereas the second pedal stroke is going to be a full whack. Okay, so pedal the other way back. Come on then, let's have a little race off the line, Amy. Let's do it. Pedal nice and level, ready to be in position. Because, yeah, okay. Right then. Right, three, two, two one. one. Oh, you've absolutely smashed me. <laughs> <laughs> we got the skids Ooh, down anyway. That was a good one. <laughs> Big thanks, Amy, though, know, for talking no through some of the basics. Cyclocross is also quite... It's quite a physical sport as well. So how do you how do you cope with like the argy bargy? Like what's the etiquette? Yeah, so you need to be a bit aggressive on the start line. As much as that sounds horrible and a bit unnatural, on the start line you've got to be elbows out. That's what everyone says. You've got to get your elbows out, kind of batter your way through the field, because the more places you can make up on the start, the better. Um, obviously, no pushing, no shoving. Yeah. That's not ideal, but uh as aggressive and kind of just attack attack the race. Stand your ground and be Stand confident. Stand your ground, yeah. Nice one. Well, thanks so much for talking us no through worries. it, giving us all those tips. Really enjoyed it's riding around here with you. And let us know in the comment section down below if you're giving Cyclocross a go for the first time, what you think of it. If you've got any other tips you'd like to share in the video, please do whack them down below. And don't forget to check out some of the Cyclocross racing we've got coming up on GCM Plus. It was always a cracking one to watch. It's going to be a good season. There is some action, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks to Amy. Cheers. See you on the next video. <laughs>